Welcome to the team, Food and Crashies. Thank you. We're, we're excited to have you here. How's everything going with you guys? Uh, doing good. Getting back into the gym. Uh, nice. Yeah, hopefully I don't get the Rona. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scary time out there. How you doing, Austin? How's it going over there? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Nice, nice. You guys want to tell me a little bit about your history in CS and Valorant? What made you guys transition to Valorant? Uh, so I made, I was like one of the first people to make the switch, um, from CS to Valorant. Um, and that was mainly just because I actually enjoyed the game way more than CS. It was way more fun to play. Uh, I could like, there was just endless possibilities to a bunch of situations. So I thought that was really cool. But, uh, in CS I played for Bad News Bears and Riot Squad, uh, which was actually with FNS. Um, so it's really cool to reunite with him again in play under him and in Valorant. Uh, I played for T1 and now I'm with Envy. My pro teams in CS were first Swobotro and then the United. Uh, so I got into Valorant because near the end of my CS career, the CS opportunities weren't as vast as Valorant. I decided to take a Valorant when T1 asked me to join them. And then, yeah, and now I'm here with Envy because one of the main reasons I joined Envy is because I, I talked to FNS uh, a whole lot, even when I was playing CS, and I just know that he has a great mind for CS. I knew he had a great mind for CS, and he it definitely he definitely adapted well to the Valorant meta. What do you guys think about uh, the other top Valorant teams? Do you think uh, we can compete with them? you think we have a chance? Do you think that they are miles ahead of us? We're ahead? How do you guys feel about that? I don't think any team is a mile as miles ahead. Like, I don't even think Sandals, who are probably considered the best team at the time, or right now, actually, are that far ahead from everyone else. But I think everyone in these condition tournaments, like, for example, the last tournament, which had eight teams, honestly, I think any 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 one of those eight teams could have won the whole thing, so. Yeah, I got you. Uh, what are you guys looking forward to most now that you're with Envy? Honestly, uh, I kind of, I would like to move to Dallas. The NVH headquarters, but obviously that's a it's a win thing. It's a win issue, but I think it'd be great to have everyone in a centralized location. And I haven't experienced that yet, even in CS. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm super excited to like eventually all get to the headquarters and like practice all together. And I think that's really important for chemistry and like for a team just to grow in general. Um, so yeah, that's like the main thing I'm really excited for. How do you guys look to improve this team as this dynamic duo from T1? You guys were top fragging, obviously, and we thought that we needed you guys to up our firepower. How do you guys feel now that you're on this team? Like, um, I'm as confident as I've ever been, uh, personally. Um, I think FNS brings a lot to a team, and I think you guys have a really good core, and you in Caboose, Mummy, and Finesse. So I think adding me and Vic as a duo, uh, like we have a lot to bring from T1, uh, a bunch of like gimmicks, a bunch of strats, like some structure. So I think it's, I mean, at the end of the day, only time will like be able to tell, but personally, I'm super confident. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm confident as well in the team. Uh, We're gonna crush Sentinels next time, next time around. <laughs> I mean, no promises, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> How, uh, how do you feel about transitioning to new roles? How about that one? Mm, that's, that's a good, that's a good question. Roles? Good question. Uh, good question. It's definitely been a process for me, I think, because I, I was playing. I was playing like the duelist role for a little, for a bit, and and I also have to change my playstyle as well. Do you find it challenging, or do you find it like refreshing since the game is so new? Are you like inventing your own thing? I like it. I like okay. doing different stuff. Yeah, um, so I'm coming off a of Cypher on the Sova, and personally, I like I love both of those agents. So, um, it's I'm not finding too much of a problem transitioning into Sova. So, but yeah, I think it's really refreshing. Uh, I just feel like a lot more useful with Sova, and I'm just shooting darts left, right, center. So, can't go wrong. How did, how did you guys feel about us two before we joined? Like a first is, that not, is that not yeah. one? Is that not yeah. one for the public? <laughs> 
Yeah, so like food every time this guy plays us has 40 kills at the end of the match. It's like insane. 32, so. 32. 32. Don't give him, don't give him the extra eight. <laughs> yeah, food food always popped off against us, so it's pretty exciting. And then uh, being on a team with Crashy is a lot in the CS. Uh, I know the, the things he's capable of. I know he's a good teammate, so I was really excited uh, to hear we were going to get y'all. No, I mean, I've seen you guys transition from CS to Valorant and obviously do great things in CS and now do great things in Valorant. So I'm excited that I have people who can pick up an operator and give it to me without me asking. So that's always a plus, you know, I just, <laughs> I, you got to have that, that oh, presence shit. of mind. And I feel like you guys have that presence of mind you, man. and, and we you. could, we could do great things and we could beat Sentinels. So I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.